Hello, dear peoples. How are you? I hope you are both fine. I'm fine too. Welcome to the Rasa online. Today is a new, fresh day, and I think you're going to enjoy this lesson. My name is Teacher Blandina Matheka, and I'll be with you in English lesson today. Our today's lesson is just the continuation of our previous lesson, which was comprehend oral and written information. And the specific competence was read and comprehend written information. And today we still have the same main competence and still the same specific competence, which is main competence, comprehend oral and written information, and specific competence, read and comprehend written information. In our last lesson, we learned about interpreting content in our timetable. And in that lesson, we saw how to read a timetable and get the idea and understand it, how to read a timetable of a school and a timetable of a ceremony and any timetable. And I'm sure by now you are able to read and understand the timetable. Today, we shall deal with interpreting content in our menu. Interpret content in a menu. Interprint, interpret content in a menu. Let us together enjoy this lesson. My dear pupils, let us first start by reading a story. This is a, a story about Neymar and the waiter. Neymar and the waiter. Let us read together this story. I read and you follow it. Neymar is in a restaurant. She wants to eat. She calls the waiter. Now this down here is the conversation between Neymar and the waiter. Neymar and the waiter. The conversation is as follows. Waiter. Hi. Can I take your order? Hi, can I take your order? Neymar, yes please. Where is the menu? Yes please, where is the menu? Waiter, here it is. Neymar, okay, thank you. Give me rice with chicken, please. Okay, thank you. Give me rice with chicken, please. Waiter, would you like a drink? Would you like a drink? Neymar replies, no, thank you. No, thank you. Then, waiter, here is your order. Here is your order. Neymar, thank you. Take your money. Thank you. Take your money. Waiter, thank you. Welcome again. Thank you. Welcome again. Now, this is the conversation between Neema and the waiter. In this story, Neema went to a restaurant 
and she wanted to eat. She went and ordered the food. My dear peoples, let us see some words which have been used in this story. Vocabulary and pronunciation. I shall read these words and you will repeat after me. You have to read as I read. The first word, order, order, order. The second one, waiter, waiter, waiter. And the third one, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So these words have been used in our story. Let us see what do these words mean. Starting with the word order. Order. What is this word order mean? A word order. When you go in a restaurant, you order something. What does it mean when you say order? Order in a restaurant. Good. A word order means a request for food or drink in a restaurant or in a bar or in a hotel. So it can be maybe in a restaurant, you went in a, in a restaurant and you order something. Or in a hotel and order something. So when you are in the hotel or a restaurant, when you say the word order, that means that you request for a drink or food. So order is the request for food or drink in a restaurant, hotel or bar. Again, order is the request for food or drink in a restaurant or hotel or a bar. Let us see the second word, which is waiter. 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 When you go to, to a restaurant, this is a very common word. You can hear people say, waiter, come here. Waiter, waiter. What does this word waiter mean? A word waiter means this. Waiter is a person, a male person, who serves customers in a restaurant or in a hotel. Waiter is the male person who serves customers in a hotel or in a restaurant.
Waiter is a male person who serves customers in a hotel or in a restaurant or in a bar. That is a waiter. Do you know how do we call the female person who serves customers in a restaurant? Do you know how we call that person? That person is called a waitress. So if that person is a male, we call him a waiter. But if that person is a woman, we call a waitress. Now let us proceed with the vocabularies. The third word was the word thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We always use this word, thank you. What does it mean when you are given something? You always say thank you or you are maybe praised for something. You say thank you. What does this word thank you mean? A word thank you is just a word which shows being grateful for something. It shows your gratefulness of something. is a word which shows grateful for something. When you say thank you, it means you are grateful. Thank you. My dear peoples, I said that today we are learning about menu, interpreting content in a menu. In our story, we saw that Neymar went to a restaurant and asked for a menu. What does this word menu mean? A word menu, what does it mean? Have you ever heard of this word anywhere? Maybe you went to a restaurant or maybe you went to a hotel. Have you ever heard of this, of this name? A word menu. A word menu, what does it mean? A word menu means a list of foods available in a hotel or a restaurant with their prices. A list of foods available in a hotel or a restaurant and their prices. So this is the meaning of the word menu. As we can remember in our story, Neymar asked for a menu. So that means that Neymar asked for a list of foods and their prices. She wanted to know which foods are available in that restaurant there and their prices so that she can eat what she can afford. Maybe 1,000, 2,000 or 3,000. So menu is a list of foods and their prices.
again menu is the list of foods available in a hotel or a restaurant and their prices so this means that menu has two parts which is foods available and prices foods available and prices we have this food here how much does it cost it costs this much dear peoples let us see an example of a menu dear peoples this is an example of a menu a menu is it looks like this when you go to a restaurant and ask for a menu you will be given something like this similar to this one what will differ is maybe the items and the prices in how they design that menu but that menu will have two sides which item side and price side this this item side shows the list of foods available list list of foods available and the price side shows the cost of that food if it is plenty how much does it cost this one so this side shows the price of that food this side helps you to 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 eat what you can afford whether do you afford maybe drinking milk which costs 500 or you can only afford drinking plain tea which costs 200 so the item side and the price side are helping you to know which costs which which one costs how much in this menu you can see in items in breakfast there is there there is breakfast there is lunch and there is dinner but lunch and dinner are at the same place that means that these items which are at lunch are also available at dinner so rice with beef rice with with fish ugali with beef ugali with fish ugali with chicken chips with chicken are available during lunch time and during dinner time so let us see the breakfast items here when you want to order your breakfast you have to look at these items here which is plenty costs 200 milk costs 500 coffee costs 400 and potato 400 so when you are given a menu you have to choose maybe you want to eat all of them it's okay for you you can order all of them but when you want to choose one of them you have to choose and look the price and order what you can afford the same applies to lunch and dinner rice with beef 3000 rice with fish 5000 ugali with beef 2500 ugali with fish 3500 ugali with chicken 3000 and chips with chicken 3500 so when you go there and want to have lunch or want to have dinner you are going to look at these items here what do you want to eat how much does it cost do i have that amount of money maybe you want to eat chips with chicken how much does it cost three thousand and five hundred do i do i have that amount of money no i don't so i'll have i'll have 
to choose something else, maybe ugali with beef, which costs 2500 So this price side here helps you to know the cost of the food so you can eat what you afford. Also, there are drinks here. Mango juice, 1,000. Soda, 600. And water, 500. So if you want to eat and have a drink, also a list of drinks are there. What do you want to drink? Do you want to drink mango juice? Costs 1,000. A glass of mango juice costs 1,000. Do I have that amount of money? If yes, and you want to drink mango juice, then you can order. If no, you don't have that amount, choose something else, maybe soda or water, which costs less than mango juice. So this is an example of a menu which you can find in a restaurant or in a hotel. Let us see another example of a menu. These kinds of menu are normally available on those maybe celebrations, parties, uh, like parties menus when you have a party with either a wedding ceremony or whatever, a birthday party, and you want a caterer to cook for you, then those caterers will give you a menu like this one, which shows the price and list of foods available to that price. Example of this one, it says this menu costs 5,000, 5,000. But in this 5,000, you can, you can have rice, you can have banana stew, you can have beans and beef stew. So this, with this 5,000, you can have all of these things. The difference of this menu and the other one is that the other one shows single item, maybe plenty costs this much, maybe banana stew costs this much. But this, there are lists of foods and their total price. That means that all these, you can get all these foods with this price. This is another example of a menu and I said that we can see these kinds of menu in celebrations menu. My dear pupils, we have seen some examples of menu. We have seen a menu which we can find in restaurants and a menu in celebration ceremonies. Those in restaurants shows single item and price, single item and price. But those in parties or ceremonies shows list of foods and their total price. So that's a little different about those menu. But all in all, a menu shows the price, foods and prices. Pupils, you still remember what we have discussed from a start up to now. Let us remind ourselves again. I said that today we are discussing about interpreting content in a menu. So we're dealing with menu today. Menu is something very familiar, but we are looking at it deeply. Do you still remember what is the menu? the meaning of the word menu, do you still remember? I said that a menu is a list of foods 
foods available in a hotel or a restaurant in their prices. So that means there is price and there is foods. What's also examples of menu, restaurant menu, and we saw ceremony menu. In that uh, restaurant menu, we saw that each item has its price, starting from the breakfast items, and you go to lunch items, and you go to dinner items, and also drinks items. Each item has its own price. When we went to uh, that ceremony menu, it was a little bit different. That ceremony menu showed that list of foods, a lot of foods there, not only one, not a single one, but it showed list of foods and the price. So that means that that price carries all those foods. Now, my dear pupils, let us do this exercise together. Now choose the correct answer, starting from the first question. The meal eaten in the afternoon is called? How do we call the meal eaten in the afternoon? The meal eaten in the afternoon is called? How do we call the meal eaten in the afternoon? Dinner, breakfast, lunch, or supper? How do we call it? Here, the answer is C, lunch. The answer is C, lunch. Lunch is the food which we eat in the afternoon. Lunch is the food which we eat in the afternoon. And dinner, what is this dinner? Dinner. Mm -hmm. Dinner is the food we eat in the evening. It's a very important meal we eat in the evening. Dinner is the meal, important meal eaten in the evening. Dinner is an important meal eaten in the evening. So, dinner is eaten in the evening, and, and it's very important. Let us see breakfast. What is this breakfast? In the menu, we saw breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast. Uh-huh. What is this breakfast? Breakfast is the meal eaten in the morning. When you wake up early in the morning and have something, that is breakfast. So breakfast is the meal eaten in the morning. What about this supper? Supper. What is this supper? Supper is the light food eaten in the late evening. The light food eaten in the late evening. The difference between supper and dinner, it, it is in the amount of food. Dinner is somehow heavy, 
something heavy. But supper, something light. Maybe you already had dinner and you feel like eating again. So you take something very light to eat. That is what we call supper. So supper is the light meal eaten in the late evening. Supper is the light meal eaten in the late evening. The second question says, a place where meals are prepared and served to customers is called? A place where meals are prepared and served to customers is called? A, a restaurant. B, a home. C, a school. D, a motel. How do we call this place where, food, where meals are prepared and served to customers. Now, this place is called a restaurant. When you look at these choices here, a restaurant is the only place where foods or meals are prepared and served to customers. So the answer here is A. What about here, a home? And we having foods at our homes? Why not home? It's not home just because home foods are not served to customers. Foods are only served to people in that family. And those people are not customers. What is a home? A home is a place where people live, where you live, where I live, that's a home. And a school. What is a school? A school is a place where children go and be educated. Children go to learn and be educated there. So at school, Foods are not prepared and served to customers, but because at school there, there are pupils and not customers. There are pupils at school and not customers. What about a motel? What is this motel? A word motel, what does it mean? A motel is a hotel for travelers. So, and always these motels are uh, outside the city is where you can find motels. Now let us see the third question. The third question says, a dash is a person who cooks food in a restaurant or hotel. A dash is a person who cooks foods in a restaurant or hotel. Receptionist, A, receptionist. B, hotelier, C, chef, D, cooker. Mm -hmm. Who is the person who cooks foods in a restaurant or in, in a hotel? The answer here is C, a chef. A chef is a person who cooks foods in a restaurant or in hotels. Who is this receptionist? Receptionist, who is this? A receptionist is a person who works in a reception, the one who welcomes the visitors and give the visitors some directions. Hotelier, what about this hotelier? Who is this hotelier? A hotelier is a person who works in a hotel. A person who works in a hotel is called 
a hotelier. Chef, as we said, is a person who cooks foods. So, and cooker, who is this cooker? Or what is this cooker? A cooker actually is not a person. A cooker is not a person. A cooker is just an instrument which is used to cook food. An instrument which is used to cook food. A cooker is an instrument which is used to cook food. The fourth question says, a person who is served in a restaurant is a, A, customer, B, waitress, C, cook, D, maid. The answer here is A, customer a customer a person who is served in a restaurant is a customer what about this b waitress a waitress is the female person is the female person who serves food in a restaurant or in a hotel or in a bar Waitress, the female person who serves customers in a hotel or restaurant. So this is a waitress. What about C, cook? Who is this cook? A cook is a person who cooks food. Now, what about D, maid? Who is this maid? A maid is a woman who is a servant in a hotel or in someone's house. Now, my dear pupils, we did our exercise there. I hope that you have done it very well. For those questions which you have missed, please do the corrections. Do the corrections so that the next time you won't miss them again. Again, let us remind ourselves of what we have discussed today. Today, we are discussing about the menu. We started by looking what a menu is. And we said that a menu is the list of foods available in a hotel 
or a restaurant which shows foods available and their prices so by now i know that when you go to the restaurant or hotel and given a menu you are able to quickly identify oh this is the menu so i have to check this food costs this price and also we looked examples of menu we looked at that hotel menu a restaurant menu and a ceremony menu they they are a little bit different and we have noticed the differences also we did the exercise which we did it nicely dear pupils this is the end of our lesson today but please let us be again together in the next lesson that's all for today i really enjoyed being with you today bye bye